everyone, welcome back, and in this episode we will do a select field to complement our text field. Alright, so let's create some space here, and let's go ahead and type in select. Let's delete all of these properties here, we don't need them. And let's actually wrap this in a div, same as we did with our text field. Give this a label, delete this for, and let's start with gender, since we are only going to have like two, three, maybe ten properties here, you know, it depends on how you feel. Let's go ahead and wrap this in a div as well, like so. Let's go ahead and give this some option. Sip. Now let's create three, so I'm feeling like male, female, and other will be alright, okay? So male, female, other, this will be a placeholder, so let's do select your gender, let's do the model, gender, cool, and let's create a property, gender, bosh, okay, so first select your gender, here you can see the the gender being selected, let's put a dash with a gender here so we can see the output. So female, so you can type if you have select your gender, nothing will show up. So cool, so our gender is being selected. Let's go ahead and create another select field here. Alright, and if you know what's coming, let's create, delete these. And age, right, that's right. We're gonna choose what age we are. So select your age, let's be model age. Same here, let's create another property. Let's call this age and let's leave it blank for now. Uh, right, so unlike uh, your genders, we can have way more ages than uh, we can have genders. So let's actually go in here. And let's create an age list where we're gonna create a let um let's say let's call this result which is gonna be an empty array and here I will just say let i equals zero i equal less than sixty five and actually let's bump this up to sixteen since I don't want anyone below sixteen using this website, right? So, uh, okay, so we have this for loop and now in here for result, let's push a value on here and we're gonna push this age and by the end, we're just gonna return result, okay? So, uh, we have you select your age twice. So here we're gonna use a for loop. So age in age list we want to bind the key to age and the value let's bind again age and we want to display the text of age okay cool so boom boom uh, let's actually display age here as well like so so Anton W is male 18. Cool. And I can change this. Okay, nice. So, how to extract this, basically, basically how to extract this component. So, uh, same as before with the text field, let's create a select field this time, dot view. Okay. Again, type in scaffold. And uh, let's take this component right here, copy, we're not deleting anything for now, and let's put it in here, okay? So let's come back here and let's quickly run over what sort of repetitions do we have. So the first one, obvious, we already put that in the text field, is the label, right? So the label, we can always choose a label. The model, again, we are binding our value to the input field, or rather the select field in this case. We have the default value that we want when the value is empty, and then we have a list, okay? We have a list of uh, values. Cool. 
So let's go ahead into our select field and let's replace these properties one by one with a prop. So props, a label, same as before. I'm going to make this require, required false. And type, I will give this string. Cool. So I'll copy this a few times. One, two, three. And uh, let's go ahead and type in value. This one's going to be required. So true. A next thing we need is placeholder. So this is going to be our placeholder value here. And next thing I'm going to say is options. And this is going to be also required, but the type is going to be array, right? So it's going to be an array of objects, but we are going to be passing in an array. So let's go ahead and put these in. So if I can stop goofing. So label. And there we go, V model gender. We'll have to replace this with V bind value and on input we wanna same as we did in our text field, we wanna emit an event of input and say dollar sign event dot target dot value. So we are gonna be emitting emitting the current value of the select field. Cool. So if we have a placeholder, I want to display this value. Okay. And value, yeah, let's keep it empty. Next thing I want to do is I want to iterate over my options, right? So same as before, I'm going to do a V4. O in options, value, I'm going to bind O dot value. So I'm going to specify a different property for my value and my text. And you will see in a minute why I would want to do this. And the next thing, we will, again, we want to bind a key so we can uh, differentiate between components. I will show you how to use this uh, key property and uh, to, to your advantage in some points. Uh, but for now, let's just specify it to something unique. So let's just do opt and we can say o dot value o dot text. Okay, cool. So let's format this. Looks alright to me. Um, doesn't look like I forgot anything. Let's go ahead and bring this select field in. So let's copy this text field. Let's type in select field. Paste this here. Comma select field again. Cool. So let's create it here. Select field. There we go. And let's fill out these uh, properties that we gave it. So label again. I'll just type in label equals gender. Whoop, don't need comma. Um, the model gender. Nice. Um, placeholder, I'll just say select your gender. Oh, and uh, options, I would like to bind this. And uh, I would like to bind this to a, if you remember, we have a value and we have a text field. All right. So let's create a new gender list. And here we will just return not an object, sorry, but rather an array of objects. And we're going to say value. So here we're just going to say zero, but the text is going to be male. And let's say female other. 
So because once you send it to the server, you might want to store it as an ID in the table and not as an integer rather than a string because strings can be expensive and integers aren't. So uh, let's keep it like this. So this is what we're returning. And let's actually take this, uh, select the equals, press Ctrl H and type in the colon. Select this field here because I messed up. And you want to find in selection. You can press Alt A or click on this button here. So let's press Alt A. And then we can do Ctrl Alt Enter to replace all these occurrences. Cool. So let's format this, save. And I feel like I replaced something else. Okay, options, yeah. So I haven't bound anything to the options yet. So here's our gender list. Let's do the same for our age list, okay? So let's create a value. And here, really, I'll just do the same value for both of them. So value and text will be the same. So this is going to be an array of objects now. So let's go ahead to our options here and let's bind our gender list. Also it drops it to a new line. Let's copy this, paste it here, say age, bind age, select your age, and I wanna say age list. Cool, and now let me just get rid of these two fields here. And refresh so we don't get any errors yet. Male 16. Okay, so you can see the value here is being changed. So you can really, let's just for aesthetics, we'll just specify it like this. Okay, so now that when we type in um, 34, apparently I'm 34 now, but yep. So here we go. We have our input fields, we have our select fields. Next up, ooh, I don't know what will be next up, but it's going to be a surprise. Okay. So this will be it for this episode. I'm going to show you later on how to extract these components, but that's going to be later on. If you enjoy these episodes, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. And as always, see you in the next episode.